Fighting for freedom, freedom, yeah. Dear friends, we know what we want. Dear friends, we know what we need. All we want is Biafra. All we need is Biafra. Our leader have tell us the truth. Now we know who we are. Cause our plan is killing Biafra. Biafra. is looking for 10%. Ooh, ooh, yeah. The water keeping silent. They are clean our people. Ooh, yeah. Nigeria. The Amalgamation is all over. Uh, all we need is Biafra. I'm not saying this because I'm a Biafra. But I'm thinking of the life we lose every time that comes. Killing innocent people, yeah. Raping our women, yeah. Who doesn't know about the ten percent? Who doesn't know about the oil well? Oh, yeah. House of Flan is killing Biafra. Biafra. 
Your body's looking for 10%. 10%. The world are keeping silent. Yeah. All we want is be a friend. Yeah. We want to go home. Be a friend. Be a friend. Land of the rising sun. Bob Bob Clan. There was good and evil, and we chose good. In a boy is calling Biafra, Anan is saying Biafra, Ogoja is saying Biafra, In a boy is saying Biafra, Urobo is saying Biafra, Shakir is saying Biafra, We want to go home, We want the freedom. We want to go home. Yeah, from. Yeah. 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 We want to go home, Biafra. Biafra! Land of the rising sun. House of Flan is killing Biafra. Biafra. is looking for 10%. 10%. The world are keeping silent. Biafra. Oh, yeah. House of Flan is killing Biafra. Europe is looking for 10%. 10%. The world are keeping silent. Biafra. All we want is Biafra. Biafra. Oh, yeah. House of is killing Biafra. Biafra. Europe is looking for 10%. 10%. The world are keeping silent. Biafra. All we want is Biafra. Biafra. House of Flan is killing Biafra. Europe is looking for 10%. 10%. The world are keeping silent. Biafra. All we want is Biafra. Biafra. We want to go home. Biafra. Biafra. Land of the rising sun. Bumbo clan. There was good and evil, and we chose good. In a boy is calling Biafra. Biafra. Anan is saying Biafra. Biafra. Ogoja is saying Biafra. Biafra. In a boy is saying Biafra. Biafra. Urobo is saying Biafra. Biafra. Shakir is saying Biafra. Biafra. We want to go home. Biafra. We want the freedom. Biafra. We want to go home. Yes, once again, fellow Bia France lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious people wherever you are all over the world. I will say good evening, good morning, good afternoon. And to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra. We are streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Radio Biafra London is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Mazi Uchi Uka from Efo. He is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State. And Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. And I believe that one day we will all come to appreciate this single truth. The mindset behind his declaration. Mazi Uchi Uka from Efo. Like I said, he's standing on the deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader, Mazenan Yoku Kano, the Prince of Afari Beku, heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom, the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost 60 years now. Nobody has been able to do this. And by the grace of Chukuki Kabiama, I remember George Unibi, I am from Abo, Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. And of course, we cannot proceed until we acknowledge the Creator, Chuku Kikabiyama, the one who sits in heaven and preside over the affair of man, the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow, for he is our guide 
in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, in matter, good, good, great, and small. He remains the primordial influence that drives us. And in my humble way tonight, I will say to him, as always, Anye na jage mahu, nezyoku, ni maramai, ihuna nya anye na ge, ubi oma ge, uju anya nya dadyo, ingwe ge mbangwe u, odi onye de kage, ebu wafa, no omega, anye nene na sena, ni de mahu, once again, you're welcome to this segment on this same very faithful day. Our topic, as always, this evening will be what well, is stole from us, but this is the pattern. Because for the past three days, we've been reconsidering what is truly stolen from us. I reminded us about what the Bible say. For the thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In other words, the colonial master came at not or cometh not, but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. We we'll spend time to analyze the most important aspect of the work of the colonial master. The thief, I must tell you, we said it is to steal. And sovereignty was stolen. We went on to look at the next mission, agenda of the thieves, the devil, the thieves, the colonial masters, having stolen our sovereignty. They kill our image. Our identity was murdered. That is why today in Nigeria, you can say you are Ududua, you are Arewa, it's okay. You dare not say you are a Biafra. You will be charged for treason. And there are many collaborators around the world who are aiding and abating these criminals. Criminal-minded individual to think we will allow them to bury our identity. No. And tonight we will look at the last aspect of the mission of the devil. The thief, the colonial master. It is to kill. When they kill you, I mean it is to steal. When they steal you, your sovereignty, your resources, they will murder you by defunding your image and assassinating your characters. And at the end of the day, it will destroy all that is left for, of you. Many people will not be able to understand this. But truly, it is pathetic. Having considered the two aspects of the fundamental principle of the colonial master, as they call themselves, to subjugate us, we shall move ahead to finalize the third aspect of this destruction. And the Bible has made it clear to us the purpose of the thief. They are here to steal our sovereignty. They are here to assassinate our character, to kill our identity. And they are here to destroy our future. This they do perpetually, subjugating us to a state of confusion hopelessness to a state of frustration until we are gone as a people. Make no mistake about it. There are a lot of things our people will not understand when we say the enemy cometh not. But to steal, to kill, their last agenda is to destroy. I will not begin to analyze everything that you need to know about this third mission of the enemy. But rather, let us listen from those who has gone before us. They have finished stealing your sovereignty. And as I'm talking to you, despite stealing your sovereignty, they're working very hard to assassinate your character, to deem whom you for who you really are. But believe me, there is more to read. They succeed on these two aspects. The third thing they will do is to destroy everything that is left of you. 
A lot of them have been contracted before now. The only thing they do is to do the devil's bidding. Make no mistake about it. If we do not rise up to defend our land, if we do not rise up to defend all that is left of us, may God have mercy upon us. Because a lot of things will go wrong. A lot of things would certainly go wrong. But our God is faithful. And Biafrans must remain focused until we make sure that our nation is restored. I will be going to a particular audio and I want you to listen to them and hopefully we will continue from there. I'll be back in a minute. I now look to Amali Yashitela to continue the case for the proposition. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I have only recently come here from the United States of America. And that being the case, I cannot stand before this August body without prefacing my statement in defense of closer unity of Africa without stating first my unconditional solidarity with President Maduro and the government and people of Venezuela who are currently under attack, savage attack, by the declining world hegemon of the United States. I think it's absolutely necessary uh, to say that coming from that country, and especially looking at the fact that the United States travels the world preening, uh, presenting itself uh, as the guardian of democracy and the rights of the peoples around the world, where the reality is that Africans who are colonized in the United States represent at least half of the largest prison population in the world. There are more Africans in prison in the United States than there are people in Djibouti or in Equatorial Guinea. And so we find it very difficult also recognizing that by their own estimates, it would take 228 years for the income of Africans colonized in the United States to equal that of the colonial white population. So it is absolutely necessary for me to stand here today before you expressing total opposition to the United States government terroristic actions against the people of Venezuela with an attempt to starve the people into opposition to their government. Mr. President, brothers and sisters, comrades, it, also, it is also necessary for us to say that this question of a closer union with Africa or between Africans or within Africa is not a purely academic the question despite the fact that this debate is occurring within the pinnacle of bourgeois academia. The, <laughs> that there is a natural, historical inclination for Africa and African people to be united, which is one of the reasons I am here today. The truth of the matter is that this discussion about the unity of Africa, union of Africans, 
started much earlier than any incursion as it might be characterized of China or the Trump administration into Africa. The reality is that Africa came under assault some 600 years ago when Portugal first came and captured African people and initiated the process that would begin capitalism and would establish and consolidate the identity of Europeans in the world. It is a reality that capitalism rests upon a foundation of African slavery, Africans were first capital. And in order for this to occur and to last, it was absolutely necessary to keep African people divided so that we could not resist this horrible incursion on Africa that continues up to now. I think it's important to be able to say that. I think that we have to say that we've seen example after example by African people to unite. We've seen what used to be warring tribes in this geographical terrain that we occupy at this moment, able to achieve a sense of sameness that people refer to as nations, founded on a common economy that came from slavery and colonialism. This is the basis of the unity that we see. If there is a problem with the European Union today, it is because the foundation, the economic foundation of capital, of imperialism, is being stressed by the struggles of the oppressed peoples of the world to take back their resources from this parasite that bleeds Africa, that bleeds the world, that bleeds Afghanistan, that bleeds the people of Yemen who are dying by the thousands even as we have this discussion. This is the basis of a Brexit. It can't stand together anymore because the host is rejecting the parasite and is creating crisis throughout Europe and throughout the imperialist world. I think it's necessary, brothers and sisters, to say that there has been a natural trajectory by African people for closer union. We know that we're talking about having this discussion in part because in 1884-85, Europeans sat at a table in Berlin, Germany, not a single African there, and carved up Africa into the territories that we now sometimes call countries and illogically refer to as nations. Africans didn't do that. It was Europe that did that. It was Europe and imperialism that required African to be, Africa to be divided so that the resources of Africa, both human and material, could come and pave the streets in London and grow the buildings in Amsterdam and bring clean water to New York while the streets in Sierra Leone are not paved. And the people in Sierra Leone do not have clean water. And there's no, there's no national electric grid there. It is necessary to keep Africa divided by European imperialism and by all the imperialism in order to continue to suck the resources from Africa so that cell phones could exist here, so that Steve Jobs and the others could achieve some great notoriety from the coltan that comes from Congo where Leopold killed at least 12 to 15 million Africans in order to conquer and keep Africa in the condition it's in today. We talk about a united Africa, Africa an African Union because of what European imperialism has done to Africa to keep us divided. We know it's true. We saw 100 years or so ago Marcus Garvey organized the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities Leagues that stretched across the globe. More than 11 million African people everywhere were connected to this. Africa for Africans at home and abroad. That was the cry, 
Not Africans for Nigerians that didn't even exist until the British created in 1915. Cry. Not Africans for Nigerians that didn't even exist until the British created in 1915. And Flora Shaw, the Improvement Association and African Communities Leagues that stretched across the globe. More than 11 million African people everywhere were connected to this. Africa for Africans at home and abroad. That was the cry. Not Africans for Nigerians that didn't even exist and connected to this. Africa for Africans at home and abroad. That was the cry. Not Africans for Nigerians that didn't even exist until the British created in 1915. And Flora Shaw, the mistress who would become the wife of Frederick Lugard, came up with the name nigger area. Not this false national consciousness that has been imposed on Africans around the world. So that when the Portuguese found shrimp on West Africa and then named it for the Portuguese word for shrimp, Cameroon. It is not true that they are shrimp despite the fact that the people call themselves Cameroonians today. It is a false national consciousness. The false national consciousness that created the American Negro, that created the Black Brit, the Afro-Swede. We are one Africa, one nation, and we must have closer union. But in order for that to happen, it has to be a revolutionary union. The Organization of African Union, Union created on May 25th, 1963 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, was part of an effort to circumvent efforts by Kwame Nkrumah to build a single union of African states. And instead, they come up with an Af Organization of African Union that codified the colonial borders that were created by, by Europe in 1884 and 85. We have to be able to break out of this, but it's going to take revolution in order to do this. African revolution in order to do this. African revolution that will destroy imperialism and the world economy that's responsible for the growing immiseration of the masses of people around the world. Uhuru. <laughs> But most of us will not understand the cry of this man, but whoever he is, wherever he is, I say, Bless his soul. May the creator be with him. He's an old man, but if he die today, we will join with him, and we are proud of him. The thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Three things is the agenda. The third aspect we are looking at tonight. And so when you say, oh, they are born in Anabra, they are going to burn Abba down. They are there already looking for me. They shall see me, and I'm waiting for them. And I will respond to them adequately. They will burn every nook and cranny of the Afra land because they think they can stop us. We shall respond. Make no mistake about it. But we call upon you. We're not just here to fight that Africans should be free. We're not crying that Biafra should be free alone. But the whole of black chimpanzee, as they call you across the globe, you must be free. There is no two ways about it. Men and women have been crying before now. We will continue to cry. But let me pass a message to all of you. Let me send a signal to all of you. You are undoing God's intention for humanity. You can't see that yet, but you shall see it when the time comes. You all gather against the black man. You reduce them to rubbish. And in your heart of heart, you want to sell your technology. You want to sell your food. 
you want to sell your genetic enhanced chicken you want to sell your one that close to us you want us to remain slave because you want to control the economic but it's a lie the world will never move forward until you let us go the world will never go beyond this stage until you let us go because in the end you will only fight in to retain your position in the global community as the manufacturer of nuclear warhead you could only boast that you have your sword droppling by the blood of our people you have murdered yes you have access to the military software as well as the hardware you control the analog yes you made the ak-47 you made the grenade the ballistic missile they at your disposal you causing chaos in africa and then you can sell them we understand this but you will end up there you will die there you will be buried there you will be humiliated there you will be disgraced there you'll be frustrated there and so shall every black man who have helped your imperialism to prevail over us for we are taking record of all of you many of our governors in biafra land many of our brothers and sisters and comrades here in biafra land has collided with the enemies against us to murder our father and our sisters and our daughters and our mothers before our very eyes and then on the expense of the black race they fly on private jet yes they live in affluence their children school in the best academic in the world and our children may have that privilege on scholarship but they can never record them yes we have not forgotten about what they did we're following them up i must tell you the truth the black secret society founded to defend white supremacy i must tell you in august 20 on august 31 2019 this liberty freedom fighter wrote out this fact over the course of our history as black people as africans we have had to deal with a lot of hindu triers attack and betrayers blackmailing and why much of this has come from the caucasian race the europeans and other pale race a good number of our injuries have been inflated on us by our own people now we are under that that it might be head a pale of swallow of black men women but the truth remains that we have heard of our own brother betraying us over economic gain and a place under the table of a white supremacy a place for the dogs back home in our motherland africa who have staged and poor persons power black men and women they represent and they protect the business of the interest of the europeans and the white africans and the white american masters but we are not going to talk about that today we are trying to review the practice of group of black men like Fulani, Yoruba, Hawusa, Oduduwa, among other black chimpanzees around the globe who think they can shut out this light of this tiny Biafra nation. We have seen your light before now. Black men and women, mainly in America, they will do this job, this dirty job, anything to stop the progress of the black communities based on the directives of their Caucasian masters, their European masters, the Portuguese, whether Francophone or Anglophone. For a few silence, a few slices of this cake. They are black creeds, secret societies. They call themselves the Bulia. They can pronounce as Bulia. They are formed from the secret society called the Skulls and the Bulls, which were founded at Uele University in 1832. The secret society of these black betrayers and saboteurs was originally founded 
by a doctor named Harry McKay. Minton, together with five other black men, they were doctors, engineers, D. Humpson, Edwin Clarence Howard. We can go and hear the name all of them. These black men. They were from Philadelphia. They were talented. Ten of them. But we are dubious. Who was among the black men who founded the New York City chapter of the Bullia. The name of a web Bullia is not new. Name to any student and followers of African American history. He was one of those who were vocal about blacks, black rights in America. But he was not being open about his motive. The same way you have Fulanis in Africa, black keepers are telling you they are fighting corruption. They are never open about the agenda. He was a major weapon used against McCarthy in his campaign for a united Africa. The white supremacy of America in 1918, they saw the move of million followers of across markets. Go for hard. They systematically deploy the dubious to dismantle his movement. In a speech, dubious clearly stated that the major ambition of the dubious was to steal the black professionals from the rank of files of people like Makabasis, the same way they are stealing the rank of file of intellectuals of Bia France. Innocent will not speak up today. Naya Wodo will not speak up today. Governors in Biafra land, they will certainly not speak up because the best out of us, the best among us, have been initiated into the secret court and they will testify against us. They shall testify against Mazen and the Kano. They will testify against UTMF4. They will testify against IPOB worldwide. They will certainly testify against the black race. And I must tell you that this means that the secret society was created, was founded to work against the economy, to work against the politics, to work against the social and the mental welfare of the African, both the blacks at home and the blacks scattered across the globe and in america and to do that they had to do their best to persuade the black professionals who follow the african emancipation message of mark of Gavis to stop him to stop them from following them his affirmation to the global bully point annoyingly to the fact that some of our brilliance, the most brilliant intellectual we have ever had, the black cellists, I must tell you, within the global communities, are used against all of us black people. And most time, they are not ashamed to speak so boldly of their intention or the job which they have been sent to do. That is why Nayan Wodo will come out openly and tell you, I will sabotage you if you pull, if you push harder for Biafra restoration. I will sabotage you without considering that Africa will never be free until Biafra is free. Without considering the fact that not until Africa is free, no black man walking on the face of the planet Earth will ever be free. To fully understand the impact of what Marcus Baggy, Marcus Garbage was doing for Africa. Home and abroad, these articles of our details, his achievement, how his dream for a better Africa was cut short. Tobias was the strongest opposition against Gavi, and he, Tobias, has the full backing of the white supremacy. Corporations like Shell, they call themselves Enin or Saipan. And other secret societies who did not want to see African free. Gave planned 
was to convince and to take as much as African from American, North and the South Americans, and to build new and beyond the resume in African nation of liberals. He had economics, social, political plans for these Africans return is to influence and change and lead Africa into prosperity. Always from evil of slavery, colonialism, the new nation was to produce and to control its own rubber crops. Sincere rubber was a major cash crop at that era. But rubbers was just one of the natural resources. We are not talking about crude oil. We are not talking about timber. The Lebanon, the timber, the, 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 the trees in Lebanon. We are not talking about cocoa. We are not talking about cola, gas and oil. We are not talking about human resources as Biafrans. But you know what? These people, these people, they want to rob us. Was just one of the natural resources that this new nation would use to build a wealth for themselves and their neighbors. In a statement of Gavi, he said the following If the oil of Africa, if the oil of Biafra land is good for these Rockefellers, their interest. The oil in Kogi State, the iron in Kogi State, the alloy aluminium in Kogi State, and partly in Anambra State is good for these criminals. Trust me. The raping, the strapping of Africans, the Biafrans, of our natural resources, of gold and silver, somewhere in Mother Keke, the diamonds across Fulani land, I mean our land, and then the minerals should be good for us why should we allow the wall street and the capitalist group of america when they refuse to give us a fair chance in the countries of our own occupation why should not african give to the world its black rockefellers richard and harry ford but the above statement was, it's clear that Gavi was fighting for the inanimate right of the black people, the same way Mazena the Colonel. And he said, what are you doing? For we fight to defend South Africa. We fight to defend East Africa, North Africa, Central Africa, Upland Africa, Bottomline Africa, Fulani Africa, Boko Haram Africa, Jihadist Africa, Christian Africa. We'll stand here for all of you. But of course, those black men who have been contracted to undo us will do their job. They will do their job. In a public attack on Gabes, this Dubai's earlier, they called him Gorilla. As they are calling us, what do they call us? Terrorists. This same group of black people. Fat black men, ugly with big head. Ellen Lack, aggressively, they said that we hope for white men to deliver us. Yes, like you have today. Now these people are gone. These people are dead. Today there are over 5,000 black members and 112 chapters of the Bulia Secret Society all over the United States. And the West Indians, this group is said to be among the wealthiest group of black people. The same way you tell me that Dangote is the richest black man. The same way you will tell me that Folashe Yoruba is the richest black woman. The same way you are going to tell me about Oprah Willie, really, who is supposedly from Imo State. Most of you may not know. The meaning of the word bullia 
help us in fully defining this group of black men and women who have sold out. They are caught throat, the worst type of dog, steady seeking to gratify the supremacy, the desire of their supremacy. They will, this bullia is word which means adversary of kings. Now, who do you think that king is? That king council all of them are members of secret society but the truth must be told these people i tell you they fight against africa many of them they fight against the freedom jesse jackson was a major black face that was used to who dehumanize the blacks i can go ahead and mention in their name Many of our people hold great sentiment, attachment to them. But these are secret agents, as you have them in Nigeria. You are a friend, you are crying. Your governors will save you. Your monarchs will save you. Your intellectuals will save you. Opinion mother will save you. They will never save you. They have already a secret society put in place to undermine our position, not only in Biafra land but in the whole of Africa. And any black man today who is listening to the sound of my voice, fighting against Biafra restoration, you're certainly fighting against the existence of the black race. The black Indians will never be free. The black Americans will never be free. The black Chinese and the black Japan will never be free. The black Indonesians and the Malaysians will never be free. The black Saudi Arabians will be sent away to take over Biafra land. The black Fulani, Boko Haram, Miati Allah will never be free. The black Oduduwa, the black South Africans, none of you will be free until Africa is free. The Bible says, the thief cometh not but to kill to steal and to destroy. Do you get the message? Do you understand why we are bleeding? Why we shed in tears? Why we are crying? Why we are calling upon all of you to wake up? It has always been there. It didn't start today. The thief come not but to steal, to kill. And their final mission is to destroy. They will stop at nothing to destroy us. With the black rice, but let me ask you the white, the color, the purple. When you succeed in exterminating us, if ever the creator will allow you to do that, you will soon understand that this our body audio is what cure your sickness and your disease. You will soon understand that this our dark skin is what keeps you alive. Go ahead with your evil entrepreneur. Stop Biafra. Use sabotage across the land of the blood of this global community who fight vigorously, who fight very hard to stop us. Kill us across the world, for our blood is yet crying, and it shall cry against all of you. But make no mistake about that. The wind is blowing already. 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 The wind of freedom is blowing already. And God will bear all of us witness. I do not expect you to understand what I said tonight. But then I call upon Biafrans. Many saboteurs will rise again. Many of them will rise again. Many of them will rise again. But we shall be free at the end. I will be back in the end. I will be back. I will be back. Sweet. 
Of course, I do not expect you to understand. It takes a fellow black man to kill Mormon Gaddafi. It's going to take a Biafran to try to stop us. But you should be aware. I have to speak in tongue and I don't expect you to understand. And I don't certainly care about how you feel. And so when you see Fulani gallivanting everywhere, they don't know what they've gotten into. When you see that man and woman who reject this true gospel, as a black anywhere in the world, you walk against Biafran restoration, you certainly bury your children alive. You will understand this truth one day. Our lines are open. The thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. They have stolen our identity. Assassinated our character. And now all that is left is to destroy. The destruction has started already in Biafra land. <laughs> Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. Our direct line is 081-221-529. Seven one. Our direct line is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. Our special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. I repeat, special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. Call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Yes, I am here. 
my rep, good morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Go ahead, and good evening from Biafra land. My name is Ezekwem Uchechi. I'm from Okiwe province, Biafra land. My rep, actually, I don't know how to express it. I really don't know how you felt. But it concerns what concerns me most. Shall our people listen? Can they see what we are passing through? Can our ears be open to know what is unfolding? When that clip you just played now was going on, I wasn't even with myself. It's not because only of your voice or because of your narratives, what you are telling us that concerns us. But I'm listening and pay so much more attention on that clip you played. How these people organize us. In the 1884 Berlin Conference held in Germany, how they tear Africa apart, how, what they did to Africans. That's what that late man was lamenting. And I believe that his, that his broadcast or that his conference, that teaching he was giving, he was giving, doing that in the United Nations. They were there clapping hands for him. Maybe they they were there somehow laughing. Him. They must have assassinated him. We know how they killed Marcus. My goodness. We know how they killed my everybody goodness. who has stood up and say, if China can be free, if Americans can be free, if Europeans can be free, Australia can be free, Malaysians can be free, why can't blacks be free? Even chimpanzee in the bush, in the zoo, is free. Why can't we be free? But our people will not understand. Black man is always there to play dirty game. Black men are ready to stand, bluff off this little tiny light remaining that is sustained the whole of the black race. It's Biafra land. Let them not make any mistake about that. No black man will be free until black people in Biafra land are free. That is why the whole world has gathered against us. We will show you this pathway. Black people, but will, our people we will never be free. They will understand. We will make them understand. We will our people listen and know what is happening they use a black man to kill all in the history of america it was the first time a black man tried to rule the world which happened to be barack obama barack obama and hillary clinton he they go, he uh, they go live and they kill gaddafi he killed gaddafi george bush should have done that but a black oh, man must oh be used goodness. to do a dirty job to kill a fellow black man in nigeria fulani has to do the dirty job for them and in their mind they are rejoicing they are killing their friends in Yemeni. They call us name. But don't worry. Their friends, listen. If their friends did not come, wherever we are, call your money, call whatever profession you are holding, call whoever, whomever you are. We are nobody. Now look at what happened. Don't look at what happened after they killed or they sent the terrorists to kill us in in Onesha. They now gathered all of them to come to Abuja or governor to go and go and have a meeting. Can you imagine they sent the jet to come and pick up the Eastern governor and the, 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 the Eastern elite? I was reading what is what was coming from the zoo since today. Oh my goodness me. Since yesterday the incident happened, I haven't with myself. What was going on? What is going on in our land? That our people will not understand. Where are the old elite, the evil people? Where are the so-called elite? Where are the rich men in that land? But they are there hiding their money. We are begging upon them to bring out money and let us fight it for cause for one. God has given us a true trusted leader by our leader, the deputy Martin Nam the Kano and Duce Mefopa. And um, some of some of us have called their fans all over the globe, IPOP, that are not sleeping every day by day. Nobody is paying us, but we are fighting to make sure we restore what is rightfully belong to us. But our people will not listen. I'm feeling I'm listening to that tea, that video, that clip you clip. You, you played, my goodness me, I can't withstand my tear. Not even because of what was coming out from your mouth, but I can meditate and refresh back from that audio. What, how these people, what they did, what they did to sanguinate us. It shall never be well with the zoo. People are me. But what we are assuring them, dear friends, what we are assuring them, 
anyhow they planned it. The generation of Bafran this time around is not the breadth of the generation of 1966, 1960, 1970. My late father fought for this cause. He could not get it. I would say, when I must fight this cause until I restore my dignity, I shall never be a slave in the foreign land, even in the place I called my home, which I don't have a home, if the Afra did not come. But by our strength, with our unity, if we can listen with one voice, we shall fight this cause, we shall fight all these terrorists that are killing all the heavy today. Some people are yelling out and say that why are we bringing politics into this, that this is a normal thing. But if it is in the Western world, they will also start to condemn it. I've been watching to CNN today. I've been watching to 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 to, to, to Al Jazeera. None of all these main news, news media seem have shown what has happened in Africa. What has what has happened in Jaffa land? None of them have shown it today. But to just say one person will be killed in Western world, all of them will rise up. The whole world will stand still. Now look at what happened today in Africa. There are some of them. They are celebrating. They have got a deal. What kind of a deal? But, British will be disseminated. British will be that crime into their cause. They are not going to succeed. Let's see how it's going to be. They have to let him, or some are not to let him. They have gotten fair for it today. But they shall never have peace. Or the whole calamity, the war they cause around the globe shall torment them. And they will come come until they let their far go. Otherwise, everything on this earth shall be disseminated and run to abyss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stop allowing yourself to be used against the Biafra restoration because all of you will fail in the end. It is not a threat. It is a promise. Are you there, Colin Waza? Hello? Good evening from here, your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, uh, shalom to you, my beloved brother, Mazi George Oyibe. And I uh, thank you also for picking my call. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Parawai Torefion. Parawai Torefion is from Afaansai. Afaansai is in Ibionibo, and Ibionibo is in Akwaibom province. Honestly speaking, Mazi George Onyibe, I, I am crying. I am crying and I weep bitterly for Africa. I weep bitterly for our people. I weep bitterly for our forefathers. I weep bitterly for we, the blacks that is left, for the remnants that is left of our forefathers. I weep so much for Africa. Over 12.5 million people of Biafra extraction or Africa extraction have been taken away from Mediterranean Sea to South America and to Europe and all over the world. Out of the 12.5 million, it was only 11 million people that make it across the Mediterranean Sea. About 1.5 million people were perished. And Africa, up to today, we are still suffering. A staggering number of 1.5 million people should die in the Mediterranean Sea during the slave trade of 1884. And our people are still speaking from both sides of our mouth. I cry for Africa, my beloved brother. I weep for Africa. I I weep for our beloved brother. I weep for Africa that is using Africa against Africa. I weep for why that is using Africa against Africa. The European country is ripping from African country. They cannot live without African country. They are saying that they are giving African country humanitarian aid, that they are giving us aid, but they are the people that are ripping us. They are taking from us. They are looting from us. They are stealing from Africa. European people, when will you people, when will you white guys leave us alone? for we to have our destiny into our hand. When will you guys leave us alone so that we can know our left to our right? When will, when, when will the French leave us alone? The French has caused so much problem and so much pains, so much anarchy to our people. Started from Haiti. They started from Haiti in 1804. They caused problems for Haiti people up to today. Haiti has still paid tax to the, to, to the French country. And over almost all the French-speaking country of Africa is still returning tax up to today to the French-speaking country, to French country up to today. You know, white people, when are you people going to leave Africa alone? Let you people leave us alone so that our, we will rest as a people. If not so, our blood and that of our children and that of our fathers that soil and built the Europe and built the Americans for you guys to live today. It was the blood of our fathers that they used in building the European country for you guys to live today. If you people do not leave us alone, the blood of our children and that of our fathers will be on your head. And European country also will not know no peace. 
you sat at Berlin conference and bacchanize Africa. You share Africa as a myth. You share Africa the way you want to use Africa. And up to today, we cannot get our destiny. We cannot get our life back into our hands. And up to today, our black people those who still want to learn a lesson from, from what is happening to us. To know that these white guys that came to our land did not come to do us good. They came to destroy us. They came to take what belongs in our land, but not of the people. They come for the land, but not for the people inside. They say that they come to help Africa. Who say that they are helping us? They are taking from Africa. Shell is here, ripping from Africa. He's taking from the Zoo Republic on land. He's taking from Biafra land. Shell is here, ripping from Biafra land. Uh, 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 Chevron is here. Shell is she, uh, Chevron is here, ripping from Biafra land. IGP is here, collecting from Biafra land. Mobile is here, collecting from Biafra land. Will Bros is here, from Holland, collecting from Biafra land. And Dredge is here collecting from Biafra land. Germany company is here collecting from Biafra land. Russian company is here collecting from Biafra land. French country is here collecting from Biafra land. The whole of Europe and Africa and South America, they are all over here in Biafra land. They are looting from Africa on daily basis. Over, over almost how many trillion in a year that Africa returns as a return to the French-speaking country, as French country. And up to today, they are still taking from us. They don't want us to have a future of our own. They don't want Africa to grow as their own people. When are we going to learn? When we blacks are going to learn all over the world? Jay-Z, you are there in America. Have you known what your forefathers suffered before you can get a life there in America that you're living? Today, you're saying that you're a Jay-Z. You're a Jay-Z in America. You're a musician in America. Snoop Dogg, do you know what your father suffered your forefathers suffered before you can gain a grand deal in America for yourself. Pope Daddy, do you know what your father suffered before you can gain a, a place there in America for yourself? Do you know what they suffered? Denzel Washington, do you know what your father passed through? Samuel L. Jackson, do you know what your father passed through before you can get to that place that you call America that you think that you're enjoying? If we, the blacks here, over here in Africa, is not free, you guys over there in Europe, you are not free. You are not free. There is no one of you that is free. You are still a slave, and a slave you remain in the hands of the white forever and ever. You cannot grow above a slave level. You cannot. Eddie Murphy, do you think that you are free? You are not free, Eddie Murphy. You are still a black slave in the hands of America. You are not a free person. You think that you are free. You are not. You are still a person. Je 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 Michael Jackson's family, do you people think that you are free? Janet Jackson, do you think that you are free? You are not free. Oprah Winfrey, do you think that you are free as a black person? You are not free. Until Africa is free entirely, you people that is there in South America and Europe all over, you are not free you're still a slave you still remain a slave in the hands of the white people forever and ever until biafra comes that will make a modern a, a, a modern a, a human society here in africa you guys can never and ever will not be free don't think that you're free michael jordan you are not free you're still a slave living in america your forefathers suffer from it many as see they take over 12.5 million of our fathers over it was only 11 million that makes over there and it was the remnant of your father that is left that is making you to be as if that you have gained ground in america today and now you can have a voice to speak in the leagues of nation forgetting that your brothers are over here in africa suffering and the white people are still looting from us heavily and you guys know about it and you're not doing anything about it can't you people organize yourself Puff daddy can't you organize yourself samuel l jackson can't you organize yourself Denzel washington can't you organize yourself Jackson, can't all of you organize yourself and say that these people as a people needs to go let us rally the run our black brothers are they being people like martin luther king we are so naive and stupid and so careless the way you guys over there in America now, do you think that you have had a voice today for you to speak in America for people to even hear your voice? A woman pay a tax, pay a price for you guys. They even offer her a car for she to enter. He says that let her trek, that she's trekking for her children, that she's trekking for her upcoming generation. She was trekking for you guys. She was trekking for you, PDD, there in America. She was trekking for you, Jay-Z, there in America. So what are you people doing today to the African nation. What are you people doing to the black people in the whole world? My beloved brother, Mazi George, I am crying and I am weeping also. And over there, 
in America there. Please, our brothers that are there, our defense fund, I am saying it and I'm speaking it louder and clear that we here in Biafra land, we are dead people already and we want to die. That defense fund that our leader have said something about that defense fund, please, you people should put something in that fund, in that defense fund, so that we can use it. Because as all Setiana, as our judge Ibe, always will say that as Setiana, he has set already because they have taken the war into our doorstep. Look at what happened on, uh, on Wednesday to our people. They brought terrorists in the name of tanker, fell, and a cash fire in Ochancha market that they destroyed in 1967, and they came back again to destroy the left the cacao that is left over. So it is said, please, my beloved brother over there in Africa and I mean in Europe, yeah, please put money in that defense fund so that when it will be time, we here, we don't need people to come and fight for us. We are going to fight and we are ready for you to die because I've been looking down here. Me and Maro Torres, I'm a dead doctor already. I have died right from this, on, on, the, on the 2017, that they came to our leader's house and they destroyed our leader's house and they killed 28 of our brother and a brother from my own unit, Oja, that is from my own unit, a boy, a boy from my own unit, were killed on that process also. We packed the bodies and the dead bodies also away from the, our leader's house to keep in front of our leader's compound. Now we can't leave to cover in the face of our brothers. Started from that day, I died spiritually it's only my spirit that is living but my body is gone so i need something in that defense fund so that we can use it here over in biafra and we don't want you people to come and disturb your comfort but we here we are going to do something but please you guys should put something there for us i am begging you people in the name of chuko kikabiyama sorry man. let me stop here before i speak my language let me stop here my beloved brother i'm hungry i'm not happy we are not happy. We are, we are hungry. Remember, you sound like a finance officer now. <laughs> <laughs> are you now one of the... <laughs> you are running away. It is okay. But of course, we must continue. You may not be able to comprehend the truth behind what you are saying. But let me ask you. Do you know that in United Nations, you have Igbo man there? Do you know that in AU, you have Igbo man there? In Donald Trump office, you have Igbo man. Do you know there is Igbo man close to Chuko Kikabiyama? There in heaven. Do you know there is Igbo man beside Satan? There in hellfire. Ask yourself, why are they there? In order to fulfill this, their evil. And when I see Fulani, oh, kill them, kill them. Fulani don't know he's killing himself. Can you hear me call on the line? Yes, good evening, Good evening. God, I'm a blessing. Uh, my name is Guinea. I'm calling from many province of the Afro land. I know the zoo, the zoo people are not happy. Even when SM is not talking, the network couldn't allow allow people to listen to you properly. But we must continue. There is nothing that is going on there that we don't have seen before. May you go, God bless you and bless our leader, Mazen and the Kano, and bless our deputy leader, Mazen, which you come from the floor. May you go, God keep strengthening all their friends. I know the plans of the, the, the people of Britain and they all, Nigeria and Fulani, as many, for us to die, all of us. Their plan yesterday, was to finish everyone that is in that market and along that route. They don't know that it could be even to that. They thought it would be more, more bigger. More people would die, more than the people that they have bought yesterday. But I know that Chuko Kabyama will pay these people back. And now I know why our leader said one day, that what they the what they will see they have not that they wanted him to go to a premature war with them, but he don't. He don't want to go to a premature war. He don't want to make any mistake. Now when we raise up against them, the whole world will know that these people have put their fingers in our eyes. I cried since yesterday till I slept. I cried. I lost my voice. But I pray that when we come against these people, that the whole world will understand us and they will know that 
we have suffered in the hand of Britain, in the hand of this evil man, in the hand of Flynn, in the hand of unlearned and uneducated dirty people of of the Yoruba. Now we know. Now we know. I am no longer happy. I'm no longer happy. One man is telling um, on the program of Mazi Aipika that the wish where IPOB should go and uh, um, uh, um, know the company that did that in, in, in Anambra and put them in the law court. Let that case be there. Even if they, they don't want to talk about it or they don't want to do anything, that they we should register that case. That those people will suffer pain for it. No one is happy. They want to kill us, to kill up their friends. I saw one history that I was reading the other day. That is not all the things that the white people are boasting. It's only the, the, the blacks that, that invented it. That they use it to answer their names because the white that invented it is their slave, their boss. We don't go to school to learn to invent something. We don't, nobody teaches us. We have it from school, Caribbean. They want to kill all of us. Those that will remain in will be the ones that will be inventing things and they will be taking glory. What will come upon these people they have not seen? I mean, you go cut them a blessing, my Lord. You go cut them a key, strengthen you to keep teaching us all the good things you are doing. Nothing will happen to you, nothing will happen to your family. All of us will live and see Biafra. Thank you, you will live much. and see Biafra. You go cut them a blessing. You None of your enemies will get at you. None of your enemies will get close to you. Thank you very much. We must continue. Caller, what's up? Are you there? Yes, I'm there, my brother. Thank you for holding. Can you hear me? Go ahead, please. The word is listening. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, my brother, uh, George Onyibe. Uh, my name is CJ Madweke. I'm calling from the United Kingdom. I hear from Omaga, Udi, local government. We have a lot of them, like Professor Lalumba. They are the ones who are speaking for Africans, not the puppets that the Europeans are using to kill their fellow black. You know, sometimes I, I ask myself, can, can let me say, this Jibreel or Buhari, as they call it in Asorog, can Buhari direct, can Buhari direct uh, 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 President Trump to kill an American person? Or direct a, 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 a France president to kill an indigenous of France? It will never happen. But they can never reason beyond that. They always use these idiots to manipulate our people. Do you know today, as I read on the news, that the Eflifus that went to Abuja, that they gave the uh, uh, Buhari uh, Jubril assigned 10 billion naira for, for, Enu, for the habitation of Enugu State International Airport, as they call it. My brother, 10 billion naira. Tell me what, tell me what, tell me that, tell me what that money will do to that airport. That one is bygone. Um, every one of us will remember as of remember as of last year that uh, Facebook owner Mark Zuckerberg always uh, visited Nigeria. Do you know that they gave this this idiot? I will call him idiot. They gave this idiot $70 million for him to make sure that Nigeria remains one, for him to make sure that he always attack us or anything that we post on Facebook. As I'm talking to you now, I'm serving 
30 days on Facebook that I cannot post anything, I cannot send anything on Messenger, but I don't care. The struggle continues. I say the two people my bless our leader Mazen Nande Kano. Bless Uchomo for bless other of our principal officers and people who are handling our stations. Sometimes I weep. Sometimes I say, God, why are we in all this mess? Why are we in all this mess? People are dying and they are they are they are, they are deriving joy seeing people dying. They, this CGO, uh, they have made a lot of money. What money again do you want? Nyangwood was saying that he will sabotage, uh, sabotage uh, uh, Biafra. Can Nyangwood walk around without Mopo or, or, or army or police, police officers in Biafra land or wherever he's going? Let us see that. He, let us see him as a man. Can he walk around without a policeman or an army holding gun, following him all uh, uh, wherever he goes? Let's see that he's a man. I don't have enough, uh, no, and uh, I don't want to take enough space tonight. Then may God bless the family. We must continue. There is nothing on this earth anyone can do that will make Biafra not to be restored. May God bless you. George Onyibe, continue the good work. My name remains CJ Madweke. Good night from here. Bye bye. Thank you very much. We must continue. Are you there, Kola? I don't know. I don't know. on the line. Are you there? Okay, uh, my dear brother, man, Onyibe. This is the uh, brother, man, in the Kokoro. From Ibere. In the Kokoro, from Ibere. Yes, you are. Ibere in the local government area. In the local government area in the, the heart of the Afra land. You see, I just wanted to comment later on the incident of uh, what happened yesterday in Onisia. This is exactly why uh, Obiano or Obiojo was elected in Anambra governor, uh, government house in his claim the second term. Because there is no time in any way in Nigeria that election has been held and there was no people contesting it. You no, know, when he when he was he claimed he was re-elected, people did not contest. Is somebody like one well, somebody we look look at as an erudite professor, Professor Soludo, could not even contest because he was settled and he was promised in this very position they gave him today as one of the economic team of Nigeria. That is why he, has, he never makes noise. Okay, Professor Soludo, because I want to talk about him. Professor Soludo is now part of the economic team of Nigeria, Nigeria as a whole. Now, what has happened in his own state, Anambra, on the share market burnt down? He never commented on the economy of on the share market or Anambra state on what has happened yesterday. And uh, he's talking about Nigeria. So this is why they were settled. They never contested that Obiano's re-election. So everybody can see it. These people have an agenda to eliminate all of us. But God in heaven, we never allow them to do it. Because we are the children of God. Children of Chukok, God, they it has been in all ways that we are children of God. Whatever their plan is, it can never work for them, and it will never work. We only ask our people to take heart on what has happened yesterday. Because that, that man that drove the tanker is a suicide bomber who just drove that tanker to kill our people. And nothing is... Bukhari wouldn't say, look, can you imagine now these people that they went to Abuja to, to go and what did they go there to do? Now that group, what did they go there to do? To go and tell uh, uh, Buhari that they uh, are to breathe, that the tanker fell from uh, the Shah Bridge and it killed so many people. Mission and they say, accomplished. Okay. Eh? They went to analyze yeah. how mission was accomplished. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay, so when they come back, what will they do? They will just go back to their houses and say that they have been settled. They have been settled. They went to tell the yes, mission has been accomplished. That is why they went there. So God will always continue to punish them. Therefore, will stand. It has happened. Even in Israel, 
this way today it becomes the strongest election in the whole of the Middle East. We want them. We have not even reached half of it. There was a team I was watching. They say escape in Sabibor. Sabibor a prison camp in those days. What these people passed through, and today Israel is the, one of the strongest nations in the Middle East. We are going through, our leader told us, we will be killed, we will be raped, we will be done everything, but eventually Biafra must come. That is the word of our leader, and we abide by it. We follow it. So, my brother, uh, I told you before the other time that we are voice wakes us up from our semi slumber. And Lu Temeko's voice keeps us alert until he comes again. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So that is it. I keep on I will call you. My name still remains to go from Iberi. Thank you, sir. I God bless you and bless you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you sir. my brother. We must continue. Are you there calling WhatsApp? Yes, I agree, sir. This is Sadri Tukumago calling you from me, Gwacha. Go ahead, please, my brother. Yes, I don't want to say much. First, first of all, so I want to beg if there is any way, if it is possible for that clip to be circulated on WhatsApp so that we can use it as part of our evangelism. Then two, for those that say they weep, they weep, they weep. I want to, I want to tell them one simple thing. There is no, no point to weeping. Israel is the most one of the most powerful nations today. Why? They have one belief, a people. You cannot be weeping on Sunday. Some of you will go to deep, deeper life. Some of you will go to Catholics, some will go to assembly, some will go to synagogue. Different beliefs, different ideology. Will remain oppressed. I want to tell all of you, if the people that are pressing you to fight them will not work. Time. Needful. Our leader has said it time and time again that we are going back to the ways of our fathers. So the people are still fooling around, waiting for the white man Jesus to come and save them from his children that are pressing you. You are wasting your time. The day we all come back to who we are, I swear. These people will naturally disappear. That is what I call to say this thing. You will you, 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 you will only weep and weep and weep. Your ancestors will weep under the shackle of slavery. Today you are still weeping after 300 years. Your children will weep if you don't stop all nonsense every Saturday and Sunday. Let's put reality and chase the enemies away once and for all. That is all I have to say this, this night. Thank you very much. We must continue. Are you there, caller on the line? Yes, good evening. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. My name is John Robert. I'm calling from Cross River State, Ecom, Biafran Province. Please, uh, I've been listening to your program and others. Uh, sometimes I do uh, send my message to your WhatsApp number and um, Nobody has been replying me because uh, I really want to join at you. Yes, I think I forwarded your 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 message to the coordinator in charge of that district today. Don't worry, be patient. We will truly respond to you. Is that right? So I also want to thank you for the good work that you have been doing. You have been working tirelessly to make sure that you waken our people from the slumber. But millions of uh, dear friends today are not uh, believing on this agitation, rather they are just uh, castigating it and everything. But I swear that Chukwu uh, Kikadiyama will open their eyes and see that uh, we are fighting for our rights. Yes, of course, you normally say that we are not uh, here to conquer anybody. We just want to go home. Listening to the clip that you just made this night made me to cry. It takes my mind back to what happened yesterday at Polisha. We are lives and property just wasted away. Shall we talk about the mother that died along her baby? Shall we talk about the property? Shall we talk about the every name 
could have felt yesterday why that fire was engulfed. So Nigerian government have been working tirelessly to make sure that they eliminate us from the surface of the earth. But I know that God, Chukoku Kenabiam, and whom our forefathers are the established, will not allow us to perish or we will survive and at the end the affront will come. So I thank you so much. Keep on doing your good work. God will reward you. Thank you very much. We must continue. Call on the line. What's up? Are you there? Call on. What's up? Are you there? Yes. Good evening, Miss George Onyibe. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Good evening, sir. Okay, please. I'm the man that called yesterday. I'm talking that I'm a cross I'm calling from Omai. Please, um, I want to, to thank you for the good work that you are doing and the creating that you have good way for look for the good job you are doing. You see that uh, there's a brother that called after um, this caller now, um, complaining about that Sonny Udo. I, I always surprised when I see our people, hoping, they're thinking that these people, these experienced people, these politicians that they are, they thought that, that those people are there for us. But I've been telling many of them, I tell you if, if anybody that I'm having conversation with, that these people are not here for us, that they are police and their family. And that people, these politicians, you see, in the world, John Wood, and these governors, I, uh, particularly I myself, I am always telling them, I prefer I Satan. I mean Satan. If you keep Satan and keep them, no matter that I'm a gospel artist, but it, I, there's no way when somebody see truth, something that is black and white, when you see something that is white, it says it's black. And when you see something that is black, it says that it's white. These people, right from the beginning, right from the one, these people that, that are I mean, the, uh, uh, what am I going I don't know the adjective to. The, 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 uh, this, this, I don't know the way these this people used to treat us and the way they handle us. It's like, it's like they don't think that we are we are resisting. They don't only guide us to say anything. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm telling any one of them that. If you keep Satan and keep them, I've got, I've just brought the gun and I'm grab Satan. I mean, I hug Satan than, than them. Because these people are wicked, they are bad, they are worse people than Satan. You see these politicians, you see this on the ocean of I don't know what to tell, I don't know what to say now. Until God we have, as I'm, as I'm seeing this, in, soon as soon as we will look at me and them. Which, which people that we 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 occupy this land? Either them or we. If we occupy this land, I don't think they will. They will, they will occupy, then we see remain in this land with us. I know that we they will be wrong because that thing, that thing that happened at, in the Ghana that will be a small thing that we can happen here. I know that every one of them that listen to us, that listen to this video, so make them prepare. If they, they know that they are worst. Since I'm only thanking God, since they did not kill Namde in Afaruku uh, in uh, 2017, that's the way I know say, the hand of God is, this, is in this project. Let them continue doing that was so, uh, because during the time of Moses, hello, I think, 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 I hello, I, I say, okay, even right. From the, uh, the the time of Moses, it was it is some of them that are just this this is the way that we talk of this time that um, we we are not shaking though. I know that they, they will kill us according to them. They will maim us. They will do all manner of uh, uh, intimidation, humiliation to see that either we can find that or we can live even that they lose. Anything that will happen. 
cousin, we and them. They will not go to school free. Because there was a day, I don't want to, I, I, I went to New Sabbath and we were debating on something. Somebody, I don't know, it, it was uh, 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 telling us that we uh, were giving uh, um, our Joseph. Uh, our Joseph is better than uh, 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 this government us. Because during the time of our Joseph, uh, um, he, he, he was trying to patch growth. But this one, I said, them, say, these people, they are even better than the worst. All the Lord is that each other. Because all Jews, since all Jews can get mind, can forget this, uh, abandon his people, and go to Koji prison to, to confuse in Namdi, to see whether Namdi will we, we, we collect the token and abandon us. But I thank God you go them, so now I'm not do that. And he, he went ahead. It's not to say for that. I see he went ahead. I'm fine with him before to London. I thank God. I, I wish before he sees them. Him. Still, he moved to a man. Then uh, that one called the money and took the London and still do it. That was like uh, I, I'm going to put them and got the same agenda. Thank you very much. We are serious to to this thing that even if it, it happened that all of us will finish, we finish. You see that we restore this government nation. It, uh, 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 even these pastors, I'm, I'm telling them all, even these pastors, the air force, the all, few, few of them. Only few of them can stand on the ground and, and came IPOP. But you see these BB pastors, anybody that is this on or praying to them, that he, 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 he's going to hawk and they like it, or he's going to heaven tomorrow. That person that, that person particularly just never know how to. I, I, I don't know. That person is deceiving himself in church. Anybody that is going to church says that he's going to heaven. Through these pastors, that person is just mocking is mocking himself. Because when you see what is what is happening in the inside, right inside church, we know that that is a business. It's, we see these pastors. We know that this woman, even she did not eat and come and, and come inside church. But you get mine and collect okay. tithe, collect uh, collect uh, offering, collect seed and persuade the woman to buy seed. Thank you very much. He wouldn't mind whether that woman has they said anything before coming to that church. And the, the only verses they will be using, only this. Thank you very much. We must continue from there. Caller on the line, are you there? Of course, our people must remain focused. No matter what they do. Some people are gradually trying to debate it. Oh, you blame your leader. Oh, you blame it. No, 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 no. The truth must be told. I can't blame my leader because any black man that will stand up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people must be murdered. You can't be that stupid. There is a conspiracy beyond your governor. There is a conspiracy bigger than the whole of the black men on earth here. Until we form a one impenetrable unit, we are all gone as a people. But God will judge all of them. The problem is not our leader. If I hold up a person and give him dirty slap, hold up call one or any governor in Biafra land and cure their disease, Teresa May will be the first to raise alarm. They will give me name. I thought I people be say Boko Haram. Mad people. Don't be that stupid. You think you are wise, but you are very stupid. Who killed Michael Jackson? Who killed my, uh, Bob Marley? Who killed Marvel Gavi? Who killed Macon S? Who killed all the men and good women? Who came out to fight for the dignity and the honor of the black man? Is it an umbrella of honor? All those people are stupid people. Their own sickness is easy to cure. If we respond to Nigeria today, Britain will be the first to blow alarm. Do you know how many people Britain killed in order to keep one Nigeria? You don't have sense. Who will expose the external enemy? 
because the internal enemy are inside pepper soup already. Ndi buga sana wano nufi. The inside soup already. But those who are sincere, they should know the truth. As you are speaking, there are some group of lunatics who have been paid to blame burning of Ochanja market to the bad road in Biafra land. And you are going to believe it's okay. He's the bad road. Don't you have sense? Don't you have sense? It's only where the, that market is. That is the only spot you have bad road in Anambra. Don't you have sense? Until we say it's a sponsored terrorism. Are you there calling WhatsApp? Good evening, good evening. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Okay, sir. My name is Peter. We're calling from City One, Morocco. May God bless our leader, our deputy, our principal officers. What I want to say this night to the ear of every Biafran, home and abroad, if we are waiting, the day they threw the bomb, boom, to be from land, for you to join RPOV, you are a liar. You see? How? Nigeria like have their soldier, full and controlling soldiers, control what? Navy, Air Force. So they will never try any international awareness to your killing. I'm telling you the fact. Never, if you are waiting the day they will throw bomb for you to come, hey, now you don't know. They will be destroying your farm, raping your children, your daughters, kidnapping, and you do what? Killing you with AK 47 and make a way. Did you arrest anybody since they are doing all these things, including the tanker driver? It may be in Tokotona or in Abuja. Drinking tea, double way done. The only available flight you have is to go and join IPOB. Make it available for your life. You tell that, no way for you. Because the way they will be killing you, international observers, Western world will not put hand. Minister of uh, uh, Defense, Fulani. Everything is them. Why are they going to throw bomb to kill you? No, that is the only way. Pushing tanker to you, burn you alive. My dear brother, you have to be wake up and join IPOB. God will make me. Without that, what can I see? God will need it. God bless you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. We must continue. Are you there, caller on the line? Yes, good evening from here. Go good ahead, evening, please. Sir. Hello? Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Okay. My name is Ikechko from uh, Agon State, Major Agon Agon State. I really thank you for your job. Well done. I really thank you for our leader, Mazinam Dekano. I thank every ITOB members all over the world. I use this uh, medium opportunity to advise everybody, especially people from New York, that what is uh, what is happening in Nigeria today is very bad, and we need to stand up. Uh, uh, Agala, uh, part of the local government, other local government have been fighting for our people since 1987. They have done a lot of things. They have killed our men. And uh, I know that it's a state, it's a state managed uh, communal crisis. So I hope that they should rise up. They should rise up to help our people. I know we cannot be free if, unless we have Biafra. We have been defending that part of boundary for so many years, and uh, I know that Biafra will come around this time around and help our people out of the program. So I, I encourage everybody from Bayon, Mbadebu, the Boki, the Nikkei Chiku, when Indagana Wash, and Maru no Unem, 
begging them, how do you want us to, to restructure? Do you want us to build a, a international port in every town so that Nigeria be, will be won? Had it been that they did not connive with the Hausa people to come to kill Namdekano, prescribe IPOB, prescribe their children, kill their children. Today, today, come talking of presidency, they will be begging them. This part that it will not yield anything because uh, all the whole that we, we have, we just have Jonathan passed. Did Jonathan retrieve Portacot Seaport? Did he retrieve uh, Wari Seaport? Did Jonathan he, he, he manage to put a, a Enugu International with only one flight, only one African flight? So whenever you're going to Africa, you must go through Ethiopia. And when you go to buy the ticket, it's skyrocketed. The one going to Lagos will be, will be 600 pounds. That one will be 800 pounds. So that they made it like that, so that people will continue to come going through Lagos. So what, are they, what, what, what did Obiano did today is to come and tell people that he has set panel. If this that country is a country. I want our people in the Biafra land to know that if that thing happen in a country that is a country, Obiano Obiano will be on in dock now because his state does not have fire service. While he's using Anambra state money to buy to buy cars for Nigerian federal police so that they will, half of the vehicle will be guiding him and his family. Mazonibe, God, may Chukwu Kikadema continue to bring who the womb that bear the man who put this radio Biafra. Because I watch BBC, they only say uh, uh, tanker, tanker explosion. Tanker explosion, they didn't know. If it is here, Mazonibe, before I end, only one person, one boy, had accident, my machine accident with a wife of uh, a wife of a uh, diplomat, American diplomat here. The woman was on her wrong side and killed the boy. Now the woman has run back to America. Here they are fighting for it to come back. Do you know that those family met with Trump yesterday? It's just one person. Just this is for example, Mazonibe. What we need is Biafra and nothing more than Biafra. May you go to continue to bless you, my brother. Thank you. And keep it on. Thank you very much. And hopefully, this is where we draw the curtain for this evening segment. One or two issues to attend to. Biafra's remain focused. Don't let anybody deceive you. It is Biafra or Biafra. Good night from here. <laughs> It's